Welcome Climate Viewers, I'm Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News and I'm going to respond to some of the people who have been hating on my logo and talking about my t-shirts and basically people are very sensitive about symbols and symbology and I think that people really don't know much about me so just a regular guy uh, living in Sumter, South Carolina as you can see we have beautiful blue skies today here I know you're jealous, lots of trees um, this is my backyard. Uh, this is my home. As you can see, I'm not living in some mansion funded by the government. It's just a regular house. And uh, I'm going to talk about some of my history and show you guys why I chose the logo I did, why I've uh, got these graphic skills and a little bit more about me so that maybe that'll clear up some of your concerns and uh, let's get right to it. So one week ago, Derek says, Jim Lee, globe and all seeing eye logo, paid piece of sh you know what. One day ago in my most recent video, my tutorial, what's up with the all seeing eye logo? some brilliant person responded it's called climate viewer with a c and a v viewer means watch i it's a great logo and ge anderson said jim will you elaborate about your logo whenever you get a chance thanks for all you do that's what this video is all about this is my favorite one this was five days ago okay it's one thing with the i logo but then there's the shirt i can't watch this and I responded, you people with your symbology make me giggle. Oh no, he's wearing a Legend of Zelda shirt with a Triforce on it. Shill. An eye on a website with viewer in the title. Hell nah. And this is the shirt that it, that I was wearing in the video. And of course, they, they obviously have never heard of the Legend of Zelda. You people. I'm not the one sporting symbolism, dude. There's a treasure trove of icons, let alone how many can you make up? This is the one they chose. Come on, man. And I responded, and if you were really woke, you'd realize all the symbols belong to us and they have zero power. You are welcome. Those symbols belong to and represent the occult. That's not us. How, how don't how you don't know this is beyond me? They're considered a warning sign to the truth movement, and yes, oftentimes they are used by shills. I don't know the story, and I don't really care. I know the hallmark when I see it, and we're sick and tired of seeing all these stupid eye and triangles. I'm like, Zelda is a video game. You and I both have eyes. Sorry, occult. You can't own eyes. So, kind of weird situation there. You know, obviously, younger persons never heard of The Legend of Zelda. Um, I'm a gamer, have been since I was a kid. You know, big deal, right? So, let's dig into my history, because obviously, you guys don't know crap about me. And uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, this is my local newspaper, the item, and dated 1992, Search and Rescue. And right down here in the bottom corner, you can see Jimmy Lee leading his pack. Um, using a compass and protractor, 15-year-old Jimmy Lee Scout Troop 305 orients his group's map in the, to the direction in which they must search to find the lost and injured victim. There's a shot of my neckerchief. I actually designed the logo for that neckerchief 305. It's pretty slick. I designed this patch as well. And uh, what did we do while we were on Boy Scout campouts? We mostly played Dungeons and Dragons. So I was a, a dungeon master for four or five years studying Forgotten Realms and making up stories off the top of my head. And high school I was in ROTC and I prepped for Air Force my father was a nuclear missile launch technician and uh, I was born on Vandenberg Air Force Base so I went into the military and it's a picture of me at US Air Force basic training in 1997 and up in the top right is uh, shortly thereafter about my third week of basic training we had uh, four drunk drill instructors come in and assault our flight they broke my knee for me so that was really fun they broke my flight commander's arm and uh, 
smash my fingers in my locker, but they bled. But regardless, I was in Air Force basic training for six months, and, and that really sucked. And over on the left-hand side was a picture from my ROTC trip when we went down to Cape Canaveral and saw the rockets and all that stuff, and a picture of me at Offutt Air Force Base receiving an award for being a child of the military. <laughs> That's why I'm giggling so hard in the photo. And then uh, down at the bottom is a whole lot of fish and wild widespread panic tickets and uh, the further festival for uh, Jerry Garcia band so when I got out of the military I went and I did a whole lot of going to concerts you can check out um, one of Fish's concerts on my YouTube channel Game Hinge it's one of the most famous concerts they did I did this graphic for it back in 1999 I got a job at a company called Positron in Omaha, Nebraska. It's the same place where Offutt Air Force Base is. And I was using 3D software called TrueV. And what it did was it allowed you to take a round object and flatten it out. Shout out to the flat earthers who can't understand how round objects work. And you can see that our software was featured in Digital Content Creator Magazine. And this frog... Uh, in the picture here is actually a frog that I texture mapped using uh, Lightwave 3D and True V uh, for a Disney film. So pretty awesome experience. Got to meet some famous people and work with industrial light and magic and all that stuff. Pretty epic job. And along the sidebar some of the 3D graphics I did using those software. Missile Rack on a Humvee. This was my Ultima Online Guild. I did a logo for them in 3D. <laughs> Tons of fun. So that led me to gaming design and I started doing 3D design using 3D Studio Max and the Unreal Engine. We actually took Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Spear and modded it. We totally turned a SWAT team game into a sci-fi space shoot 'em up. I uh, know uh, we have like laser guns and you know plasma grenades and this is based on a Dungeons and Dragons campaign called the Renegade Legion. And we basically took the lore from it and turned it into a mod for Rainbow Six. It was so popular that the people at Red Storm Entertainment that made the game emailed me and said that yours is the number one mod we play in-house. And they offered me a job as a map designer. You know, I looked into the whole thing and this is fun for me, but I don't think I want to pursue it as a a career and over on the side uh, I also learned the Unreal Engine so I use the Unreal Editor to make a map you can see it right there it's kind of like a, a Colosseum a Roman Colosseum meets um, ancient Egypt which brings me to my activism and the logo thing so my first logos and and my activism started on resonated.net and resonated.com nobody knew me from a hole in the wall I didn't tell anybody my name all they knew was this anonymous Guy Fox mask with the gas mask and the samurai helmet and the V for Vendetta up at the top. And it's pronounced resonated, if you guys were ever wondering, R-E-Z in 8D or R3ZN8D, like it is on YouTube. It's basically I had resonated.net was my blog and resonated.com was my map. And at the time it was just Google Earth and it was called the Radiation Database. Resonated.net had you know several different names over the years. The Revolution blog, when I was a little more liberal than I am today. I had Big Brothers watching you on red, resonated.com on there. And finally, I settled on the Resonation. And you can see the Resonated.net logo there. And this kind of encompasses everything that I was talking about. It's light pollution chemtrails, nuclear pollution, geoengineering weather modification, and any other type of pollution that affects your health. And here's an example of one of the infographics I did for my blog, you know, showing the founding fathers and how basically there were other people in the room like Visa, Google, Citibank, Lockheed Martin, Goldman Sachs, Monsanto, you get the picture. A friend of mine, Dutch Sense, you know, we had beef back in the day, so for a brief while, I was Steven Seagal instead of the Anon mask, <laughs> and uh, that was pretty funny stuff. All is forgiven, you know, water under the bridge, but this is one of my favorite infographics I've ever made. 
And then uh, I, I transitioned from Resonated.com and Resonated.net to TerraformingInc.com, like Terraforming the Planet, and ClimateViewer.com became the map, ClimateViewer 3D. So Terraforming Inc. was basically like a one-stop page blog, you know, that had all of my articles on it. And I made a logo for that. It's got like the gears of the earth and terraforming ink. And I also used the Toxic Avenger in my header. So I just replaced the Anon mask because apparently I was getting feedback that that's a little scary. And eventually I got rid of terraforming ink and it said, you know, we moved and you can see links to all of the pages on climateviewer.com and climateviewer 3D. Oh, there's that eyeball. Oh my God, Jim chose an eyeball for his logo. And, you know, this gives you a little example of, you know, the, the tweener years when I was still terraformingink.com and uh, climateviewer.com. And I was, I had just got into chemtrails and I, I called it Operation Clarity, the end of chemtrails. And this was about 2010, no, 2012. And this is actually a, a photo of Hurricane Sandy right before it came through that I took myself and, you know, did some graphics over it. Here's some more infographics that I did at the time. I was in a, you know, first person shooter clan. So we caught, we were body count. I made a graphic for that. Um, Godlike Productions, you know, going to their forum, they kept... Uh, port scanning me and I was like what the hell what kind of forum port scan somebody port scanning is a form of hacking it's a way to find open doors in your computer so I made this one why you no respect my privacy please quit port scanning me and posted that on godlike productions I was immediately banned of course because they don't want anybody to know that they're a honeypot and they port scan everybody that comes to their website screw you godlike productions and uh, Godzilla versus the NSA Utah Data Center. Uh, the NSA is a big data center where Hillary Clinton's emails are caught on fire. So I made that graphic. Other graphics I've made, uh, a friend of mine, Brian Porter, had a website. And he had a whole bunch of different people who were going to be on a radio show and asked me to make graphics for each of them. So Sean David Morton, The Transition Times. Uh, David Williams, Lost at Sea, uh, Dana Dunford, the nuclear proctologist, and James McCanny with Brian Porter, Nuclear Reality. See the skull there? Pretty cool stuff. I, I enjoy making graphics. I've been, I also did t-shirt design for 12 years, so lots of experience with that. And then we transitioned to my first eyeball. And, <laughs> of course, everybody was just like, WTF. Okay, so it's called Climate Viewer, and you view with your eyeballs. So it kind of seemed like a no-brainer that I'm viewing the climate in the whole world, so why not have an eye with the world in it? And this was my first two logos. I, I switched my map over to climateviewer.org. Climateviewer.com became my blog. And uh, we even did a little CV radio back when I had other writers on climateviewer.com before all the copyright uh, lawsuits started to fly. And then that's where this little guy, the Lorax, creeped in. And, you know, things started to get really weird there for a while. And I used to end every single video I would do with the saying from the Lorax, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better, it's not. And then I was informed by a copyright lawyer that I could get sued just for saying that and using um, <laughs> Lorax imagery. So I had to get rid of all that stuff from climateviewer.com. Still hate that, but still, I speak for the trees. And that brings us to the current logo for Climate Viewer News. Now... I asked my good buddy Dominic Marama from weathermodificationhistory.com, Hey bro, could you help me out? I need a new logo. I still want to have the eye, but I want to make it more corporate friendly. I don't want to scare the scientists off. Dominic came up with this logo, and I absolutely adore it. And it does have a C in blue and a V in green. It's still an eyeball climate viewer tracking the climate changers and climate viewer 3d i changed that to match 
So that's my logo, and I'm sticking to it. And for anybody that really wants to hate on you know me for that, dude, you you got your head up your ass. I really don't understand being scared of freaking triangles from video games, being scared of eyeballs. Um, you know, there's a thing such as disempowerment, and there's another thing called surveillance. And that's what I'm doing is, you know, I'll take whatever symbol I like. If you, if, if you're scared of pictures, then you're, you're obviously not going to be doing much about anything, um, except for trolling the internet and complaining about things a lot. This 3d globe <laughs> with the climb of viewer 3d logo on it has the world's only NSA map where you can actually see all of the NSA facilities from the five eyes. You can see all the Department of Homeland Security fusion centers, where all of the police and military and university are using drones, the undersea cables, and all the spy facilities around the world that the five eyes of the New World Order use. So it's kind of ironic for people to be hating on me as being, you know, paid off or a shill or any of that sort of stuff. So that's my response to the symbology haters and the people who want to infer, you know, things. If you uh, believe the world is flat, I'll address that in an upcoming video. But regardless, this is all about me speaking my truth, my rugged individualism, and my, you know, using my skills to do something better for the world. And that's why I do what I do. I hope that you guys have found this video informative, that you've, you know, can know a little bit more about me as a person and feel a little more comfortable that I'm not some creepy shill dude. But if you, if you, if it doesn't, I really don't care if it doesn't. <laughs> I'm not your info fucking I am an activist and I do this for all the right reasons. So with that, I hope that you guys will subscribe. Um, I hope that you guys will continue to support me on patreon.com um, slash climate viewer or PayPal or GoFundMe. I'd greatly appreciate that because um, I'm just using these skills to do some good for the world. And, you know, I always laugh every time I hear that all seeing eye logo crap. So to the people who asked for me to respond to this, I have. And uh, in the future, when somebody says, what's up with that eyeball logo, they're going to get this video right here. Leave me a com uh, comment. I greatly appreciate to hear your opinion on this. <laughs> and, um, you know, just remember, we're in some pretty ugly times and everybody's paranoid and people are being violent. So attack ideas, not people.